Okay, here we're going to talk about radiation. And these nuclear reactions um, actually take place because many times a substance, especially atomic numbers 83 and above, they have so many protons inside of the nucleus that all those positive particles are repelling each other. And if the proton to neutron ratio isn't adequate enough to maintain that nucleus stability, then an atom spontaneously reacts in order to make itself more stable. And it's called a form of nuclear decay. Now, um, when a nucleus actually undergoes any type of decay to form a more stable element, um, the nucleus is actually changing. It does it spontaneously. Um, it wants to become something more stable. And many times it's going to emit a form of radiation. Now, we need to be familiar with some forms of radiation and what their symbols are before we can write the nuclear equations that go along with this. <clears throat> Uh, one of the first uh, particles that you really need to be familiar with is an alpha particle. It has a mass of 4 and a charge of 2. Now this can also be symbolized as a helium nucleus because having two protons is just a helium nucleus itself. Uh, next type of radiation is a beta particle. Those are basically high speed electrons. Since it's an electron, it has a 0 for mass and a charge of a negative 1. Many times beta particles are also symbolized with an E because it is a high-speed electron. Again, mass of zero and a charge of negative one. A gamma ray <clears throat> is a high-speed photon. Next, the gamma forms of radiation, a gamma ray has absolutely no mass and no charge, but it is given off when the nucleus actually transforms from a higher energy state to its ground state because of <clears throat> and then we have gamma radiation zero mass and zero charge given off when that nucleus um, goes from an excited state back down to its ground state a uh, positron is that antimatter of an electron so again it has no mass but its charge is opposite that of an electron. It's a plus one charge. It can also be symbolized as B with a plus one charge. Neutron. N for neutron, and a neutron's mass we know is one. And it has a charge of zero because it's neutral in charge. A proton, many times it's symbolized with a P, mass of one, and a charge of one. Many times you're gonna see a proton symbolized as just a hydrogen nucleus because that's all a proton is. An electron can be symbolized the same as a beta particle. Okay, knowing these symbols, we're going to use them and actually write out some nuclear equations and show how they're going to be balanced in terms of mass and charge.